Hi everyone, this is Farah. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. So excited to have you guys here today because as you can see from the title, today I'm sharing with you my entire luxury handbag collection. I'm so excited to share this with you. I'm just surrounded by handbags all around me and that is such a passion of mine. And if you guys love handbag videos, if you love luxury content, if you like videos on fashion and style, you're definitely gonna love it here. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I really hope to get to a thousand subscribers this year and I would be so excited if you could help me along in that journey. This video is going to be the exciting culmination of the entire month of February. I've been doing February, so I've done a daily video related about handbags the whole entire month of February, weekly unboxings, and now I'm going to share with you my entire handbag collection. And it's not over yet because even after this whole series has ended with today's video, I'm still going to continue doing content on things that I love. A lot of it's handbags and luxury, but of course, fashion, style, lifestyle is always fun to do and fun for me to explore as well. So please go ahead, hit that subscribe button already if you haven't, and then let me go ahead and get right into it. I've got a lot of handbags to go through. I'm not going to spend too much time on each of them because I don't want this video to take forever, but I will kind of talk briefly about them. Um, I figure I would go ahead and just start from the handbag that I got as my first ever luxury bag and then kind of go on to the more recent bag that I uh, have gotten. So. All the bags that you see here today are ones that are currently in my collection. If there is a bag in here you've seen previously on my channel and you no longer see, then I no longer have it. Um, so let me go ahead and get started. The first ever handbag, luxury handbag that I got was back in 2018, this bag. So this is the Balenciaga City bag, um, the classic city, the kind of motorcycle bag in this beautiful, rose blush color with the rose gold hardware absolutely love this bag i was such a lover and still am such a lover of the balenciaga city handbags and i just thought they were just when i first saw them decades ago um because they're almost about 20 years old now i just love them i just thought they look so edgy and rocker and cool um and a little bit understated too because most of the time unless you know luxury handbags, you're not gonna know this is a luxury bag. Um, it doesn't say, you know, uh, Balenciaga on it. It doesn't have logos all over it. So it really is kind of classic in that sense. And when I saw this bag come up, I had bought this bag from Poshmark. Um, when I saw it come up, I absolutely fell in love. Before this bag, I had never bought a luxury handbag, never spent that much money on a bag as I did on this. And um, at that time, I just saw it pop up and this combination, I mean, I don't think the camera can do it justice, but this combination of the rose gold and the pink, I just thought was so beautiful. And I just thought it was just just gorgeous and I just knew my first bag would be a Balenciaga City because um, that's what I'd always wanted. So I think I was just always looking for the right one. And when this one came up, I jumped on it, I got it, um, and I love it. To this day, it's so beautiful. I don't use it as much as I did when I first got it, um, but this beautiful leather, how soft it is, how squishy they become, um, and then just the color of it, I think is gorgeous. So even though it's just kind of on, you know, just more of as like a showpiece in my closet right now, I do think I'll probably use it again um, in the future, especially if the bigger bag trend kind of starts to come back um, or if I want to use it for work. But for right now, not using it as much, but I still love it. And I don't think this bag is ever going to go anywhere. Now, then the next bag that I got was actually a bag that I've sold. It was my classic Louis Vuitton uh, Damier Bean in the size 30. I actually uh, no longer had that. I didn't sell it. I gave it to my mother. So she has it um, because I realize I'm not a to only top handle person. I like some versatility. I like to have other straps to do either shoulder carry or um, cross body. So I kind of got a different version of the same thing. So the next handbag I'm going to show you that I got was this one that I still have. So this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy in the size 30 in the Damier Bean print, this gorgeous chocolatey brown color um, with the gold hardware, absolutely gorgeous. I love this and this is the bandolier so it has the strap. Um, I did do a video of my entire Louis Vuitton collection so I kind of go a little bit more in depth about the bags and kind of how I got them but love this bag it's such a classic i think the size 30 um, and the size 25 are my favorite 
this, when I first bought this, I decided to get the size 30 because I thought, you know, it's gonna be the most versatile of the two because um, I could wear it for work and it, the opening is much larger so it can fit like papers, notebooks, things easier than the 25. Um, I still love the 25. Uh, but uh, I think both of them you can't go wrong with. So this is the size 30, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love this like bright red interior that this one has, all the Damira beans. So that also got me as well. I'm such a sucker for when the interior is a beautiful color, but this was my second luxury bag um, that I still now have. The next bag I got after this, very similar in pattern, was this one. This is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull um, bag in the Damier Bean in the MM, the medium size. Same beautiful interior, love that. I have an organizer in here now. Um, I don't use this one as much. I've done a couple videos about you know whether or not I should sell it and I'm considering selling it, so I'm not sure if this is gonna stay in my collection forever. But it's such a classic. I mean, I just feel like when you have the two Louis Vuitton bags, the Speedy and the Neverfull, you have like some of the more classic bags or the popular bags of Louis Vuitton. So it's been hard for me to let this one go, but I don't know, it is one that I'm thinking about. Um, but it's my only luxury tote bag, like true tote bag that I have. So I think that's one of the reasons I keep hanging on to it. And it's just beautiful. I mean, you can't deny how beautiful this is. It's that beautiful, gorgeous, classic Louis Vuitton, so love it. The next bag after that one that I believe I got is actually another Louis Vuitton piece. I was really into Louis Vuitton, and I still am, um, so it is this one. So this is the Damier Azur um, bag, in this, and so this is the Speedy bag in the size 30, in the Damier Azur print, which is this black and white, or I should say gray and white, kind of blue, gray and white checkered print. Bandolier, so it's got the strap as well. Um, beautiful kind of like vachetta leather. Um, mine has a little bit of patina on it, but not anything crazy. I think I love the color it is now. I just love like my speedies. I mean, I've done my speedy videos. I've got a trifecta, so I have that video as well. But um, these are just, there's, to me, they're obviously similar, but very different, like look very, very different. And I just love the Damier Azure. I think it's so beautiful. It's my only Damier Azure item and absolutely love the speedies. And I'm somebody who sometimes if I really love a bag, I'll end up getting multiples of the same thing in like different sizes or styles or colors. And the speedy is definitely one of the bags that I just think are so classic from Louis Vuitton that I love. Um, the next bag that I got, another Louis Vuitton piece, yep. I believe was this one. And I hope I'm doing these in order. If I'm not, I'm sure, you know, at least I'm getting them covered. So it was this beautiful cutie, one of my absolute favorite little, little bags to look at. How cute are you? This is the Louis Vuitton Alma in the size BB in the Verni leather. Um, so it's such kind of shiny patent leather. This is the color Dune. I love this bag. Um, first of all, I just think the Alma is, again, a classic piece from Louis Vuitton. Um, the Speedy, the Neverfull, the Alma. I mean, that is like the trifecta of probably the more classic things in Louis Vuitton. Um, and I love the BB size. I think it's a perfect size. You wouldn't believe the amount that you can actually fit in here. Um, this does come with like a crossbody strap as well, but it's actually quite roomy inside. I've got it stuffed, but it's like roomier than you would think. Um, and I love it because because you can wear it kind of like casually during the day, but then you can also wear it out for evening. And this is kind of like my go-to nude bag for evenings out or even casually if I want something luxury. So I love it. It has like a little cliche. It's got a lock. Um, the little handles are here. It's got a crossbody strap or shoulder strap. It's just gorgeous and I always wanted something in this verni leather I just think it's so beautiful and I love how this is kind of you know from far you may not notice that it's a luxury bag but you know when the light hits it and you see the monogram print um, it's just it's just gorgeous it's absolutely beautiful so it's all got the gold hardware that I love so beautiful beautiful oh I just I can't ever stop looking at this I mean I definitely think as far as looks goes this is probably like one of the most beautiful bags ever <laughs> of all time Next after this, this one, which is my 
Balenciaga City with the large or the giant gold hardware um, in black. So very classic kind of rocker chic bag. I just, I love this one. This one was just such a classic, like the black Balenciaga City is just so classic. Um, but this kind of was like the edgy version of it. And I just love that contrast with like the bold hardware. Um, and I just love the gold with it. So like, you know, I just love my two Balenciaga bags with this large gold hardware or this one's rose gold this one is gold but i just love that kind of large hardware so very different in their looks and i really like them both how they look but yeah the next was the black one and i love the leather of this one so soft so hard wearing um just beautiful beautiful bag and again just reminds me of why i wanted the city bag for such a long time just back in you know the days when all the celebrities had the huge large city bags that they were carrying um and that was kind of like the generation i was from so i always wanted one because that was the first bag i ever loved and this bag was just i saw it so much on um you know back then there wasn't really social media but like in magazines and photos and i always just lusted after this and then so exciting to finally have this in my collection so i love this one and i think i was on kind of a Balenciaga kick because I also then shortly after got this one um, this is the Balenciaga City uh, bag uh, this though is kind of like the medium hardware um, so that's like the that was like the giant hardware this one I believe is like the medium or uh, I think like size 12 or so hardware um, in this beautiful kind of reddish poppy shade now I am considering selling this bag in fact I'm pretty sure I will um, Whereas I'm not so sure about my Neverfull, I kind of keep going back and forth because I think it's such a classic. I think this bag I can truly say I'm probably going to let go of just because, um, I don't know, when I look between like the giant gold hardware and this one, I mean, I, this is beautiful, but I think the, the shape of it... Um, the slouch is not how I want it. And maybe it's just this bag, it's just like really worn. Um, when I look at it though on the screen, the color is gorgeous and makes me second guess myself. But um, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one um, just because as you'll see from the other bags I'm gonna show, I have a couple of things that kind of mimic this for, uh, slightly, but gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Absolutely love it. Oh, it's so pretty. I really, I really just love this color. It's, it's a red, but it has like a little bit of orange to it. So the color I just think is gorgeous. So one that I think I'm probably going to get rid of in my collection. And then next after this, oh, one of the a contender for probably one of the more beautiful bags um, is this. So this is my Lady Dior size medium in this black quilted pattern that canage pattern so gorgeous i absolutely love it it is made of this lambskin which out of all my handbags and i have you know so many bags from so many different designers um different leathers i will say this is the softest of them all i mean just you can see the quilt is so soft and just feels so amazing and it's just so luxurious just to look at, to wear it, to hold it. Um, and this is kind of the older uh, style, the more vintage. So this little thing says Dior, this little keychain, um, but this one has the zip. Uh, so whereas I believe the newer ones have a flap, this has a zip with just the prettiest clasp that says has the the cd for christian dior on it i just think it's so gorgeous i think the newer um versions i'm not sure if they have this anymore just because they've got the flap opening and as far as interiors go i always mention i love a beautiful interior this one has that bright pop of color as well I've got scarves to stuff it but that beautiful red interior which just is so eye-catching and the gold on here i think because my version is the older version i believe this might actually be gold like real gold plated um so pretty i feel like whereas my alma bag is kind of like my you know nude going out luxury bag um this is kind of like my black going out luxury bag i know these are like still a little bit on like the medium size is not so mini like a clutch but i just love both of these i think they're so beautiful those are definitely two of the most just beautifully constructed and beautiful to look at just cute bags in my collection um then after this i believe came this bag which is another gorgeous gorgeous bag so this one this is my chanel my only chanel bag in my collection this is the chanel chic quilt um bag in this beautiful 
blue. I just love this color. This is like one of my favorite blues. It's like a kind of like a dusky denim -y blue. Just it's beautiful. It's like a water sky kind of. I just love this color. I fell in love with the color and I really wanted, you know, a classic kind of flap style bag. Um, oh, this is not a classic you know, flap per se, but it's that similar style. It's got the turn lock, um, you know, it's like a flap bag, and then it has your beautiful gold hardware with the chain. I just believe those are just such classic Chanel features. But this one I like, it's got a leather strap, and this one, it actually has, I do have um, longer, you can make the strap longer. I just kind of have it all tucked in right now, but just so pretty. I love this bag so much absolutely gorgeous so this is my only chanel but i love this and i actually i know the chanel um classic flap or the double flap is so popular it just seems like everyone has it in their collection um but i've heard that it can be a little bit difficult to actually wear um as far as what you can fit in there this is a single flap so it's got plenty of room in there so i can definitely fit a lot in here which i love and um i just love like the durability of the this leather as well as you can tell I love different leathers and kind of seeing which one is it's got the quilting but I'm not sure if this is um, goat skin or calf skin it's a little bit it's not lamb skin so it's a little bit more durable and it's uh, kind of like an iridescence to it so it's like an iridescence um, sheet quilt I think is the name of it so just absolutely gorgeous um, my only Chanel but definitely one of my favorites uh, just gorgeous I just think the color I'm not even sure if the camera does it justice. It's such a beautiful, beautiful color. Just the moment I saw it and I was thinking of what I would have for my first Chanel, I knew this was it. And honestly, now that I have this bag, I don't lust after Chanel like I did just because this meets so much of what I wanted and it really was a bag that I just saw and fell in love with. Um, then after this one, I'm, yeah, I'm almost there guys. I'm getting close to the end. I believe was this Louis Vuitton bag here. This one, this is kind of my, I would say my only like hobo style bag. So this is the Louis Vuitton Delightful in the monogram. It's my, it was my first monogram, you know, this classic monogram pattern, which um, was exciting to kind of have that because I never had that prior to this bag. As you can see, that beautiful pop of color, I believe it's called like the Pivion or Pivone interior, this raspberry kind of berry color, um, beautiful bag. I still have some things, I got it from Fashion Files, so I have tags in there, but beautiful bag. The Vichetta is a gorgeous color. The strap is just so comfortable to wear. I mean, I have a video comparing this and my Neverfull. And they're really quite different um, but as far as comfort for me goes wearing it this is you know definitely more comfortable I mean although this is more of a hobo style I do think like it kind of fits probably just as much if not more than um, the Neverfull so actually it can be quite deceiving how much it can fit and then it's got this beautiful little chain here that hangs down and then the trimming is just gorgeous they no longer make this specific style i believe now they have a version called the graceful but i just i love this one and i just love that pop of color and i love i love things that like peek out the color so like when you're wearing it and things are in here the slouch is down and you can really see that raspberry red you know berry color and it's just so gorgeous so this is just a beautiful bag and it was my first monogram bag um then after this i'm getting closer to the end i'm trying to see which one is next so yes i believe after this sorry for my reach are is this bag so this is my balenciaga city mini it was my first mini bag um and this is in a gorgeous orange color with like a hint with like a little bit of red in it so like in different lighting sometimes it looks red based on what i wear it might look more orange and it's got that beautiful gold hardware i love the mini size it's you'd be surprised at how much it could fit, um, like a small water bottle, phone, wallet, keys, you know, all the essentials and more. Um, and I love that it kind of keeps a little bit of its structure while still having that beautiful Balenciaga slouchy kind of smushy leather. Um, gorgeous, long strap, so you can make it cross body. So when I have this bag, I'm kind of wondering whether or not, you know, to keep this just because they're similar. I mean, I know the color is actually 
quite different when you look at it up close, but it is you know still similar enough and I think anytime, every time I'm gonna reach for this one. This one was a bag in this specific color um, and size that I'd wanted for such a long time. So when I got it, I was super, super excited. And then shortly after I got this bag, I was able to get this one. So another Balenciaga City Mini. This one is in the metallic edge. Um, so the hardware and the leather kind of has this uh, edge around it. So a little bit different from this when you look at the variation. Both beautiful in their own right. This is though definitely a lot more neutral um, and it's got like the classic Balenciaga long tassel, which is fun. Um, and the white, you know, I don't have any other, yeah, I don't really have any other white bags. I mean, unless you count this, the Louis Vuitton Speedy. Um, but I mean, very different, very, very different. This is much larger and obviously this is smaller. So this is kind of like my only small uh, white designer bag and love this, it's so pretty. And again, I just love the size. Like this is a perfect, you know, they call it mini, but it's a perfect size where you can still fit everything you need. And this little front pocket, you know, has a little mirror inside as all the little Balenciagas do, but it's actually handy to put in like a quick, you know, a credit card or something that you need to have quick access to. So I love that. So this was my, um, next bag and my last of my Balenciaga bags. Um, after this bag, I'm trying to see what came next. So yes, we're almost getting close to the end. And I think I said I had 13 bags. I'm counting now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Did I completely count wrong? I might actually have 15 bags. Um, so my next bag was this one, which most of these bags, especially the newer ones, um, the more recent ones, have unboxings on my channel. So definitely feel free to check them out for kind of more detailed information in my reactions if you haven't. And this is my only Gucci bag. This is the beautiful Gucci Dionysus Mini in the beautiful bloom pattern. So it's got that beautiful, you can see it on the back as well, floral detail with like the GG monogram and then the side has the beautiful suede kind of like in this red, um, almost like a burnt red, gorgeous kind of like a gunmetal color chain. Um, as you can see, I'm a gold hardware kind of person, but more recently I've been okay with kind of introducing some of this gunmetal um, and I believe these are like um, leopards or tiger kind of head. I love that. I just think it's such a classic style with like this fun twist that which I feel like Gucci is just known for like their fun bold patterns and prints. So I love the blooms and this is this bag actually goes really well with a lot of things in my wardrobe because I do like a lot of florals and dresses and pinks and reds and so I, I really like this bag. This bag was another one that I'd wanted for a long time so really happy to have this. Now we're getting down to the wire. This next bag is a classic, classic bag. So this is my Speedy B uh, 25 in the monogram. So. I kind of have the whole speedy trifecta. I've got this one, I have this one, and then I have one of my first ones as I showed, my Damier Bean, so the whole trifecta, but this is the only one in the size 25. Um, all of them are bandolier, meaning they all have the strap, but I just think this is so gorgeous. Um, just such a classic bag. I mean, I really, I like the size 30, but that I'm totally loving the size 25 right now. And it just, right now this is heavy because it has all my things inside here. I just recently did a what's in my bag because this is the bag I've been using since I got it. So um, definitely check that out if you haven't already, but so beautiful. The Vichette is this beautiful golden honey color. And it's, I just feel like this, this is absolutely classic. You can't get more classic from this. And you know, I love a lot of this handbag history. Um, so I love the fact that this bag was actually made for Audrey Hepburn. Um, I believe Louis Vuitton was doing like the larger luggage bag and she wanted like a hand carry, you know, smaller bag. So they made the size 25 in the monogram print for her. And so to kind of have that, even though hers wasn't bandolier, um, to have that is really exciting. And you know, so this is kind of like the whole well, Audrey, every time I wear it, I just kind of think of like Audrey Hepburn. And it's, if you are aware, some of the other bags I have will have a little bit of history. So for example, my Dior bag, 
This is named the Lady Dior after Princess Diana. Um, this bag was gifted to her, I think, when she was visiting France and um, she loved it. She wore it a lot. It's in a lot of photos that you'll see with her. And so it was named Lady Dior. So I love that, you know, Princess Diana was kind of the the namesake behind this bag, which is gorgeous. And then my Alma bag, which I was showing you a little bit earlier, my Alma BB, this bag um, was actually a bag that uh, Coco Chanel wore. So Coco Chanel, obviously she had her Chanel bags that she wore, but when she wasn't wearing her bag, she had an Alma bag um, and she wore it and it kind of was one of the bags that kind of reminds me of her when I'm not carrying actually my Chanel bag. So that's another little fun fact, little tidbits about this whole handbag history. And then my final bag in my collection, the one that I most recently unboxed is this beautiful bag with Fendi, the Fendi Peekaboo in the size medium and this just gorgeous kind of multi-tone hardware. It's got that gunmetal hardware here and then the gold with the enamel. Um, just a gorgeous goat skin that's just so durable. I love it and I just love how the interior lining is like beautiful Zuka print. Um, as you know, my name is Farah, so I every time I see the Zuka print with the Fs, I just love it because I just feel like it's calling my name. Um, so beautiful bag. I always wanted the peekaboo bag. It's also got this long strap um, that's adjustable that you can wear cross body. And then you have the two sides to the bag, one side and the second side, which they both open up with that turn lock. You can leave them kind of open um, and it has that interior kind of panel. I recently just unboxed this, so I haven't really worn this um, much, but absolutely love it so far. And I kind of know that I'm looking and I have all my bags. I have three black handbags in my collection. So I've got this one, which is kind of like I would say my, like a all rounder kind of casual work day, could even take it out at night. Um, this one, my Balenciaga City, I feel like is more my just edgy kind of, you know, larger tote bag. So those are the differences. And then I also have my Lady Dior, um, which I feel like is a completely different vibe. This is definitely, I would say, the dressiest of that, more of like an evening stylish kind of bag, although these two are pretty, pretty cute. So love these three black bags. Those are the only black bags that I have um, in my luxury handbag collection. So that is it, oh my goodness. So. I counted and I'm pretty sure I've got 15 bags, which is a great number to have. So 15 luxury designer handbags in my collection. I am thinking, as I mentioned, of selling um, my Balenciaga, the red one, and possibly my Neverfull. I'm so back and forth about that one because I just feel like it's such a classic. She's not getting the use I was hoping. But as far as ones I'm thinking of adding, I mentioned in my 2023 wish list that um, I may consider adding something from Saint Laurent, Yves Saint Laurent, because I don't own anything from there. So I'm considering that. Um, I recently just added the Prada little wallet. So it's an SLG, so I didn't include it in this collection, but I do have that video um, of the unboxing, which if you haven't seen, you can check out. So I feel like I have something from the House of Prada. I would love to have something from Saint Laurent, and I would love to have something from Hermes. So honestly, I feel like maybe 15 is my good number, because if I were to get rid of that Balenciaga, and maybe that never full, I'm not sure, um, then and add something from Saint Laurent, and maybe in the future something from Hermes. But I feel like if I added something from Hermes, I would want to go big you know, the classic Birkin or Kelly, but I'm not sure if that's something that I would actually use for how much it costs. So that was definitely one that is a big stretch for me right now. But this is my entire collection. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you stuck around this whole time, please go ahead, hit that red subscribe button down below. I would love to see you in all my future videos. Even though this is the end of my February series, this is not the end of my videos. I think this has only been a motivational month for me to continue making more videos because it just made me realize how lovely it is to kind of talk with you guys, how exciting it is to kind of plan and, you know, film these videos. Um, and it's such a passion of mine, obviously, as you can tell, to talk about handbags, luxury, fashion. So I'll continue to make content like that. I plan to do weekly videos or twice weekly videos to upload. If you have any suggestions for them, please leave them down in the comments below. I would love to hear them. And if you haven't already, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Like I mentioned, I'd love to get to a thousand subscribers this year. And in my next video, because I've got all my handbags around me, I'm kind of going to do a part two to this. So stick, uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you 
out of all the bags I've just shown, what are my top five picks um, that are just absolutely my loves from this? I mean, I love them all, obviously, um, but the ones that I would have to pick as my top five if I absolutely had to just choose. Um, so stick around for that video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed this, my entire collection. This has been a video I've been wanting to make for such a long time. So it's really quite exciting to kind of share it with you now. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.